whaling, one of the hugest tragedies of the modern world. Countries such as Japan are forcing these magnificent giants of the sea into extinction. But have you ever stopped to think, are they? The truth, though not. In this documentary, we reveal the truth about the disappearance of the whale. America is behind it all. The American CIA has made the world believe the Japanese are killing the whales. What is actually happening may shock and disturb you. The American government are sending these whales to Mars! In early 2001, for reasons still unknown, the American government set up an agency for the sending of whales to Mars. This agency was so secret it did not even have a name. It was simply referred to as the Agency for the Sending of Whales to Mars. The agency was made up of a council of scientists. Today, we are outside the home of one of these scientists who has recently left the agency and has decided to tell a story. The original plan was to send a whale to Mars. While it may seem simple, it was not that simple at all. In fact, you might say it was quite complicated. They started off with a simple propulsion system designed by my colleague, Dr. Newman. Well, I designed it very easily. It's based on the same principle as the cannon. You put the explosive propellant inside a long tube, then you stick the whale in after it. When we sent up the first 50 whales, we discovered a valuable piece of information. Whales need water. Our solution was to send the whales up in a plastic bubble. The design was simple. The whales were simply placed in a sphere of plastic and propelled towards Mars. This all went well except for one thing. They forgot to fill the bubble with water. Who could be stupid enough to forget to fill the bubble with water? We will never know. So we sent 75 more whales into space, this time with water in the bubbles. We found out something very important about the nature of whales. They need food. That wasn't my department. I wasn't in charge of food. I had nothing to do with that. The next 75 whales sent up highlighted a very important flaw with the current design of the bubble. While these whales were sent up with sufficient food, there was no room in the bubble for the whales to excrete. And they subsequently died before reaching Mars. So we thought, how do we get all this whale excrement out these bubbles? Then it hit us. Oh, it seemed genius at the time. It seemed like the solution to all our problems. None of us could see the problem of putting a hole in the bubble. But there were problems. A hole made in the side of the bubble to let out excrement did just that. But it also let out all the water, food, and then finally, the whale. Things weren't looking too good for the agency with no name. It was back to the drawing board for the removal of the excrement. So I designed a special tube that would only remove the whale's excrement. That way, it would leave the rest of the stuff in. But this tube was a little pricey. Each one cost three and a half billion dollars to manufacture. The rates were rising, and so were the whales. To Mars! It seemed that if the research was going to continue, the agency would need money. Lots of it. So they went to a place that had sums of money so ridiculous, no one would even notice if you took 3.5 billion dollars. The oil industry. The agency approached Philip King, the owner of King Oil the largest oil company in the world. I like whales, I like whale pie, whale ice cream, whale cake, whale pizza, whale pasta, whale chips, whale scones, whale vodka, whale bread. Now that they had funding, the agency were able to send 200 more whales to Mars. These whales went all the way to Mars without dying. Unfortunately, when the bubbles actually landed on the surface of Mars, they popped, killing the whales instantly. So we decided we needed a tougher material to make the bubbles out of. So we made the next law of bubbles out of titanium. The whales in the titanium bubbles never left off. Within 10 minutes of being put in the bubbles, the whales died. The agency tried this in 300 times. All was the same result. Instant death. So we came to the conclusion that whales are allergic to titanium. We all decided that the bubble idea was far too dangerous. We forgot why we'd stuck them in bubbles in the first place. So, the next lot of whales were sent out without bubbles at all. Instantly, the scientists remembered why they needed the bubble. 
Frantically, they searched around for a material suitable for sending whales in. They were up working late. What they needed was coffee. I don't really know much about whales. All I did was get coffee for the scientists, not so much for the whales. The deadline was fast approaching. The agency had to send up some more whales soon. So they used what they had at hand, cardboard boxes. Yeah, the cardboard boxes were a pretty good idea. It was just one problem of them. They got a bit soggy. I mean, you try being it made out of cardboard and holding lots of water and not getting soggy. It was late 2005 and the American government were getting impatient. The agency had to go to the last place there was. There was only one place they could find a material suitable for space. The whale people came to us late 2005. They are asking us for a material they could use to make whale bubbles. We fought and fought about it. Then in the end, we said to them, Have you tried the cardboard box? So NASA was no help at all. We were stuck. We sat for about six months just thinking about what we could make another bubble out of. But then came the beginning of the end. Someone from the agency leaked information to the public. As soon as the White House heard about this, they shut down the whole operation. They said they couldn't be seen killing innocent creatures. What? Those whales deserved it! I'm glad it's over. I didn't see the point. What was gained by sending thousands of males to Mars? What? What, I ask you? Sure, I'm out of the job, but it was fun while it lasted. Whale on stick, whale on chips, whale sandwich, whale terracotta. And so our story ends. But what will become of the whale population? Have enough been spared to save the population? Or are they too far gone? Will they become smarter and take over the world? Only time will tell.